everybody. This is Ari Farkoka, founder of Ashler STEM Academy. Today, we will solve a really nice math problem. Let's look at the problem. If x plus y plus z is equal to 12, where x, y, z are positive real numbers, what's the minimum value of the function given below? So f as a function of x, y, z is equal to square root of x square plus 1 plus square root of y square plus 64 plus square root of z square plus 49. At first sight, this problem looks more like a calculus type of problem because we are asked to find the minimum value of a function. However, we will solve this problem by using geometry only, and you will be amazed with it. So let's look at the first term here. So it says square root of x squared plus 1. So it seems more like a distance calculation, right? Like the distance between two points. So for example, if, I, if I'm at point A, so if I move x units down and one unit to the right, square root of x squared plus 1 is simply the distance between the points A and E. So let's call it D1. So the first term here is a distance, D1, between points A and E. Similarly, the second term would be another distance, D2, and the third term is going to be another distance, D3. So here, if we assume that all these y's and z's are like vertical displacements like x is here, then d1 plus d2 plus d3 would be a total distance that we travel after three steps. So in order to make it more clear, let me show you the picture that I have here. Here we go. So geometrically, this is what it means. So first I move from A to E, then from E to F and then F to B. So the vertical uh, displacements are X, Y and Z. And in the horizontal direction, I move one unit first and then eight units and then seven units. So 8 is the square root of 64, 7 is the square root of 49. So as you see, D1, D2, and D3 turns out to be the total distance that I travel from A to B. As I move along the lines, the line segments, AE, EF, and FB. So what we see here is, regardless of the values of X, Y, Z, x plus y plus z is always 12. So this is given in the problem. So the vertical distance between a and b would be always 12. And the horizontal displacement would be always equal to 16, which is 1 plus 8 plus 7. So this distance will be 16 units, and the vertical is 12. So if I fixed point A, so if I know where I start my motion, point B is always fixed. It's always 16 units to the right and 12 units down with respect to A. So these, this, this conclusion is irregardless of the values of X, Y, and Z. So now I'm trying to minimize the total distance traveled. Now comes the question. What is the minimum distance or the shortest distance between two points on a plane? The answer is a straight line. So if we make points A, E, F, and B collinear, in other words, if we can put them all on, on the same straight line, the distance between A and B would be the shortest. And this is going to be the minimum value of the function f. So let's draw it. Let's draw what we mean here. Here, here, here we go. So now a, e, f, and b are all on the same line, which is a straight line. 
So as you see, X, Y, Z are the vertical displacements. 1, 8, and 7 are the horizontal. So in this case, we actually create the shortest distance between points A and B. And this simply gives the hypotenuse here, simply gives the minimum value of the function f. So since this is a right triangle, the value of f min would be square root of 16 square plus 12 square. So f min turns out to be 20. So as you see, without using any calculus, without finding the values of x, y, and z, which minimize the value of the function f, we are able to solve this problem by just using geometry. I hope you like uh, this video. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, you can always shoot us an email at ashler at ashlerstem.com. You can also visit our website www.ashlerstem.com. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.